Hey, we're at uh, GenCon 2022, and I'm here with Josh, otherwise known as the Board Game Captain. Hi, nice to, nice to be here. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're uh, here Sunday morning, um, the last day of the convention, and uh, so Josh, what's been your experience so far? What have you found that's been interesting? Well, my biggest, I think the most interesting thing to me is how much Gen Con is back this year. So last year, if you're not familiar, uh, well, two years ago, if you're not familiar, there was no Gen Con. Uh, because of the pandemic, it was canceled. Last year, there was a Gen Con, but it was delayed and it was small. It was much, uh, many less exhibitors and significantly less people attending. This year, it feels like 2019 again. It's a ton of people, it's crazy busy. Everybody, I think, was really feeling like they were ready to be back. And that's the biggest thing, the biggest uh, thing for me. I wasn't actually expecting it to be back to being a full-size Gen Con again, and it really is. I mean, there are a ton of people every day walking in the exhibit hall. I, I ran into a few, like, gridlock traffic jams, actually. It was so crowded. Um, and so what have you found that was like super interesting to you that, that like you stumbled across and you were like, hey, this is kind of cool so far? So, all right, well, I got to play uh, a game I had not played yet. It's called uh, The Guild of Merchant Explorers. Uh, it was by AEG. So I had gone to an AEG press event and they didn't talk about it at all because I guess it, it came out a little while ago now. Um, but they had it when I was at the press event. It was like off on the side. It was one of the other games that was just sort of there. And Lynn, my wife, uh, she was looking at it. She said, oh, that game looks cool. But then they didn't actually talk about it at all. So then we went to the, the BGG Hot Games Room. And Lynn goes, oh, go pick a game. And I went and looking, and I saw it. I said, oh, Lynn wanted to play that game. So I went and I got it. We brought it back to the table. That was, I think, game-wise the biggest surprise for us because we played it, and it was fantastic. I'm working on trying to get a review copy of it so I can do a review and tutorial on my channel. Um, but yeah, it was really good. It was one of those where I'm like, why are more people not talking about this game? Because this game is really good. It's uh, incredibly fun, very unique mechanics, um, very much a Euro game and a really, really good Euro game. Cool. Uh, and based upon uh, when we had that our, our interview on your channel, you mm. mentioned, or maybe I saw the Rear Window game. Yes. So that enticed me enough that I like went away from my tabletop role playing game and I went into the Funko. Uh, play, yes. play demo site, and I got to talk to Deidre um, at, uh, from Funko. Mm -hmm. Did, did you get a chance to explore that since? I went to talk with Funko. Um, we had a little bit of a scheduling snafu, so they're actually, I'm going to be talking with them um, over the internet um, later, but they did, they threw me a bunch of, bunch more review copies, so I got a bunch of stuff I got to check out from them. They gave me a review copy of um, uh, Goonies, they gave me a review copy of um, uh, Pan Am, which I have not tried either of those yet, and also the expansion of Goonies. So I'm looking forward to trying those out. They are cool people, and uh, I also, you know, I can't wait to still have my Gen Con interview with them, which I'm going to be doing after the con over, um, you know, uh, uh, an, an internet meetup, basically, I'm, I'm planning to do. I mean, I'm planning to use my Restream software to, to, to meet up and record it. But yeah, but um, no, I, I love Funko. They, they do some good stuff. And also, they had already given me a review copy, actually, right before the con of Rear Window, which I'm, is, of all the review copies they've given me is the one I'm most excited to check out. I'm very excited for Rear Window, so yeah. Cool, and actually when I was in there, I saw the Goonies uh, game and I was like, I didn't even know it existed, so I just stumbled across that. They also have an ET one and. Uh, they, they get a lot of official IP stuff. Yeah. They, a while back they did, and they sent me a review copy of it and I reviewed it and it's fantastic. They did The Rocketeer, which is a game, like when, when I saw it, I was like, The Rocketeer, I was like, because that movie, uh, I, I know it has like its fan base, and I saw it in theaters back in like '93 when it came out. Um, but this, we're talking about a movie that that came out. They were hoping was going to spawn like a franchise. Did not. Did not spawn a franchise. There were never any sequels. Uh, and at this point, the only people who really uh, know about it and, and and remember it fondly are those who did watch it back then or, or discovered it later on video. It's 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 got its own little cult following. But what a great game they made out of that IP, which again, I love that a lot of companies are making good, officially licensed IP games, because for the longest time when you saw an officially licensed IP board game, you were like, oh, this is gonna be a cash grab. It's gonna be terrible. But like Funko are one of those companies that they make good games out of officially licensed IPs, and that's great. I absolutely love their stuff. 
cool. And you can count me among the uh, Rocketeer <laughs> uh, fans. I'm like, I've always wondered why that movie wasn't more popular. It, and it didn't I make love enough mo money yeah. in its initial release. Is the problem? Yeah, I really wish. I really wish it had because I would have loved to have seen sequels to that. Yeah. I really would have. Yeah, I love the world that they created for that, and I think they've done a few comic series and that kind of thing. Well, yeah, it was actually it was a comic originally. Yeah. It was, um, and a lot of people don't know that because it's kind of from an, a more obscure comic book company. Back then, Disney was trying to get into doing comic book movies, but they, at the time, weren't going to be buying up the rights to a big comic book company like Marvel. So they went and got uh, the rights to a lesser known character to like dip their toes in the water, and they, they went with the Rocketeer. Cool. So, any kind of like uh, your Sunday, you're going to go uh, finally do the floor. You've been so busy uh, doing reviews. Yeah, I haven't gotten reviews, to do. But I've been doing. Uh, I haven't gotten to, uh, to do too much in the exhibit hall. I did a little bit, uh, but mostly just for appointments because I've been running around like crazy all weekend. So Sunday is my day where I'm going to really, really finally get in there and and get to look in detail. I also have some companies I have to go back and check if they have uh, extra copies. They told me to come back and check for review copies. Um, one is I have to go back and talk to my contact over at Cosmos because they said if they had any extra copies at the end of the con of um, that Robin Hood game. They were going to give us a review copy of that. Lynn is really excited for that game. And also I want to get a copy, like I said, of Guild of Merchant Explorers at AEG. And I'm going to look around. A another one of the games I'm super, uh, super excited for is I got a review copy of Northguard, which uh, from Hachette Games, which is a, um, a 4X game that's supposed to play in 90 minutes, which I love 4X games. I love Twilight Imperium. It's my favorite 4X game of all time. But Twilight Imperium, takes six hours. If I can get that experience in 90 minutes, that's phenomenal. So I'm super excited to try that game out. Cool. Well, I th really thank you for joining me uh, today. And uh, hopefully the convention is going to be just as good on the Sunday as it's been so far. And uh, look forward to seeing all your videos that you're going to put out in the next little while. Oh, thank you. And that's if you want to check out my videos, my channel is The Board Game Captain, Captain with a K on YouTube. And it's a pleasure to join you uh, for, for, for part of your Gen Con coverage. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.